Hey everybody, my name's Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Have you guys ever thought of using a CB antenna for ham radio? Well, it's widely done, uh, and I've got one here that I've had for a long time. This antenna I actually got on with a CB all the way into Australia one time. Out camping, I'll show you a picture of that. It's a pretty simple setup. It's uh, three pieces and it's, it's called the A99 or the Solarcon 99. It used to be made by Anton. I think it was bought out by Solarcon. Pretty sure they're a US based uh, company out of Ohio, I believe. And the, their kind of claim to fame is these little tuning knobs right here. I'll get a close up of those later for you. And you can move these up and down on these threads to tune the antenna. Now, it's widely sold for CB, but it says 10 to 12 meters. I've also seen people saying that they, with a tuner, they tune 20 on it also. So we'll try all that today. So I'm gonna set this thing up. It takes two, uh, two clamps, you clamp it to a pole. The higher, the better, guys. You can also buy, and I have it here someplace, but it's pretty messed up. You'll notice, okay, another thing too, you'll notice this is green. It was black. It comes white, guys. And the reason it's painted, if you've ever dealt with uh, fiberglass that sits in the sun, what will happen is it'll splinter later. So, so put a, a nice coat of paint on it, non-metallic type paint, and that'll protect it. And mine's in pretty good shape, except a couple places where the paint got scraped off and it sat outside for a while. But this has been sitting outside for quite a while and it's in pretty good shape. It's three sections, they're all about, well, it's a total of around 18 feet total. Um, the uh, top section's about an inch taller than the other two. Other than that, they're all pretty much the same. Basically it uses, I think it uses, I'm pretty sure because I had it on there, lock washers, but I'm gonna use this portable. I don't wanna have to deal with the lock washer, so I'm gonna set it up without it, make sure everything tunes up fine. If it doesn't, I'll add them. I've got the washers. One is a 3 8 and one is a, uh, oh, maybe a half inch, I think. I think it was a half inch, the bottom one. So I'll set this thing up, it takes two clamps, clamp it to a pole, and like I said, get as high as you can get it. Let me set it up, push it up in the air, hook some coax to it, and we'll check out the SWR on this thing. I've kind of just set it right in the middle on the on those uh, adjusters. They're kind of in the middle right now. I found them at the bottom, I, they, but they were loose. So I don't, know, I don't know where the adjustment is. I think they come right around the middle. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the pole. Now, I'll put a link to this pole also for you guys. Let's go up, so it's about 20, probably 25 feet. And if you look up there, just got the coax. I do have a choke on it and uh, just two uh, U-bolts holding it onto the pole. All right, guys, so I was able to get the, uh, I played with it just a couple times. I moved it a few times. I got it to 1.9 on 12 meter and about 1.8 on, uh, on uh, 10 meters. It will tune 10 meters, 15, 12, 17, and six meters. I wish there was somebody out there on six. I did make a contact just a second ago. Uh, I don't think I was doing poetry. It's I have a lot of noise here. Uh, you guys know a lot of times verticals are really noisy. This is probably a really good poda, uh, someplace where there's no noise. But like I said, I was able to tune all those everything. I couldn't tune 20. It wouldn't do 20, uh, but it did everything higher than 20 basically. Okay. So, and the guy gave me a five five. I gave him a 5.5 also, but I could barely hear him. He just, my noise right now is S5. Uh, well, that, actually, take that back. My noise is, a, well, it's actually not that loud. It just sounds loud. It's a, it's a kind of annoying sound. Uh, I'm used to my Yagi for 10 meter. So, um, yeah, I had the, uh, the amp on, so it was S5. It's about a, about a one or a two now. We'll actually check a few different bands on here, on the uh, on my rig expert, and maybe I'll bring out my um, my comet also, and we'll do six meter. I think six meter was about three to one, so that it it tuned it up fine. So I mean, you could get four or five bands out of this thing. I see six, ten, twelve, fifteen, and seventeen. So five bands. So he's not real strong, but I can hear him. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. So this could be a great camping antenna. 
if if you have a tuner, I mean, shoot, with a better tuner, you might get tuned 20, but it probably wouldn't be very good. And 20 is something I have on other antennas anyhow. So I'm, I'm about 20, 22, 23 feet probably, which is probably pretty good for that antenna. I have a way of doing that on my box. So I've got an actual mount that I can put my antennas in there, and I could put this up and, you know, get five bands with a, with a simple, I mean, a three-to-one tuner. That's all these things are. It's radios. So he's coming in pretty good. He's about an S3. Go to uh, 12 meters. I didn't see anybody on 12. I was picking up some FT8, I think. But nobody on 12, and that's... That's kind of typical sometimes. Let's go to 17, or yeah, 15. So 15, I don't see anybody there either, but it will tune up. There's tuning right there. Takes a little time. And test one, two, KK6 USY. About a one to one, so pretty good. I don't see anybody on there either. It's, that's typical when I test antennas, it seems like sometimes. Let's see another band here. This is 17. But again, I'm not seeing anybody. Testing KK6USY and CS Perfect. Um, so it tunes it very well, guys. Um, and I'm sure any any radio with a three to one tuner, 7300, uh, you know, any of those would work just fine. I don't do a lot of FT8, so I don't really remember where it's at. There's that, there it is. So it's picking it up. About an S5 signal. I'll take it down to six. Now you guys can't see the screen, but Testing, one, two, KK6 USY testing. One to one on uh, 5125. Sometimes I can coax a guy out of Benicia to come on. CQ, 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 Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra Yankee. Anybody on the frequency, anybody anywhere, KK6 USY on uh, 5125, KK6 USY, anybody anywhere. Unless it's open, nobody's there usually here. But the SWR is fine. It would, it would use, it would work. Let me set up the meter, and we'll show you the uh, SWR on a couple of the bands there. Let me get it ready for you guys. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Okay, we're at 20. Let's see what we want to do here. That is 12. Let's do 20, 24, 950. And we'll go to just SWR. See 1.9. We'll run a scan real quick. I think this was pretty flat all the way across. We could probably get a little bit better, but I might lose. In fact, it was better earlier, but uh, 10 meter wasn't as good. So I kind of, I kind of compensate in the middle. All right. Let's go to. 28500 and we're 1.9 so they're both the same there but this one looks short or was it no it looks long when I do this because it comes in a little lower and goes up so both of these if I was just doing one band I could probably set it up better but as you see it kind of levels off so lower lower down below the band this let's, let's just go I can scroll over real quick Twenty-eight, two nine five. Let's just see what it looks like there, and it's one point seven. Tunes up. One point nine is fine, guys. That'll that'll totally work. All right, let's do um, seventeen. Let's do one eight, uh, one four zero. Oh. And it's three point seven, but it did tune that, so not not a problem tuning it. And let's just. We'll scan that real quick. And like I said, if you wanted to use just one band, you want better SWR, it's pretty flat all the way across. You could probably 
play with it long if you want to play with it long enough. But uh, I didn't mess with them. I, I, I literally spent like less than five minutes, guys. All right, so let's go to 15. Let's do 21, 300. 21, 300, and 1.5. So it's actually really good there. And we'll just do a quick scan. And it's showing uh, short, maybe. Look at way up here, it's really good. That would be 21,550. All right. Uh, let's see. It won't do 20. Let's just see what 20 is. Yeah, it's way too, too far off for an internal tuner. All right, the only thing, oh, well, let's just do seven. Let's, we'll do, um, uh, 40 meters. Yeah, 11. See, it's well, 11, 10, 11 is close enough. So it's just, it's, it's too short of an antenna for that, guys. Let me set up my other, unfortunately, this is the, uh, when I had, when I was using this antenna, this is the, uh, rig expert that I bought because I wasn't planning on doing ham radio, guys. Let me, uh, let me set up my other meter. All right, let's turn it on. Oh, we're already on six. So let me go to So it's showing SWR about 4.5, but it tuned it no problem. Let's, let's see if it goes up. It gets higher as it goes up. So you probably won't do it up there. So this guy's La Palma Island. He's got a pile up here. I heard him on my Yagi inside. My Yagi shows more noise, but it's not as noisy. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a quieter antenna. So I don't know where La Palma Island is, but he's got a, a pretty good pileup when he quits talking to somebody. You can hear him there. And by the sound of the other stations, there's probably not a good chance of me getting him. All right, guys, so is this antenna going to be the best antenna in the world? Probably not. Uh, if you look at the specs on it, they, they claim like 8 dB gain. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> even I even saw that on HRO site, but they're just putting out the uh, manufacturer's claims. And you'll see, especially in the CB world, claims are really high a lot of times in the antennas. There's no way they're they have that much gain. That's more gain than my Yagi has. I think it's like six or seven or something like that. But it's a good antenna to take out. I, I believe this antenna would be, especially on those bands that I, we talked about, probably equal to maybe like a chameleon type antenna, uh, the impasse or something, because it's still, it's still using some type of a matching setup. And it's actually really close on a couple of bands. So is the chameleon. Um, I'm talking just the vertical ch chameleon, you know. About as easy to set up, maybe a little harder, but this one you're, you're getting it up in the air. That's the harder part. Uh, but usually on 10 and stuff like that, I know on when I was doing 11, when, I bought this thing for doing CB, guys, and it worked pretty well. Like I said, I, I got into Australia with it, with a, with a CB radio. Um, but at that time, the, the bands were pretty good. I was up camping, I didn't have any noise. Uh, so I could hear real well. The guy wasn't real strong. I wasn't real strong to him, but he heard me and I heard him. So it would be a, it, they're, they're about 130 ish dollars. I'll leave a link for them, an Amazon link for it for you guys down in the uh, description. I'll also leave one on the pole that I had it on. That's a 25 foot aluminum pole, I think is what it is. And that should get up plenty high enough. I think if you get this thing out in a place like a Poda, uh, you know, where you're doing a po parks on the air, maybe and you you can use your truck for a mount, to, you know, like a flagpole mount, which is what that is, a flagpole. You, you would probably do pretty good on the at least at least 10, 12, and probably 15. Uh, well, no, 15 was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, if I remember right, 15 was really good. So it should work fairly well on all those and maybe even 17. 
Six would probably work also because six is that it's multiples, I'm sure, on the uh, on the length. So it may actually have some gain. So, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, and you want to see more on this antenna, make sure you hit the, uh, the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all that, because I'll probably take this thing out and do a Parks on the Air. And also, don't forget to like if you like the video. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Hammer Radio Ventures. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed it. 73 all, hope to catch you on the airways.